All of us have experienced relationship issues, whether it be disagreements with parents, arguments with coworkers, miscommunication with your significant other, or tension between friends. Our body has mechanisms in place to achieve socially motivated behavior, or individually motivated behavior. Conflict arises when one is prioritized over the other. Peace and harmony ensues when balance is achieved between these two behaviors. But how can we achieve this balance? Oxytocin is instrumental in the balance between socially motivated behavior and individually motivated behavior, allowing both individual and social benefits to be maximized. Oxytocin is a hormone and neurotransmitter most known for its role in pregnancy and uterine contraction, its most medically relevant function. But oxytocin also has many behavioral effects on both genders. Given its role in childbirth, it is not surprising that females are generally more strongly affected by oxytocin because they naturally have higher levels in their body. Nevertheless, it is a key hormone in all of the emotional aspects of every relationship humans have. In the study led by Anthony Lane, published in the International Journal of Psychology in 2012, adult men were randomly assigned to receive either intranasal oxytocin or intranasal placebo. Afterwards, the participants were asked to share a painful memory. The participants were evaluated based on their willingness to share event-related facts, factual sharing, versus event-related emotions, emotional sharing. Both groups were equally willing to fact share, but the group that received the oxytocin had an increased willingness to share their emotions, which point towards the positive relationship between trust and oxytocin levels. A research group led by PJ Zach explores the source of generosity of humans, the tendency for humans to help strangers at a cost to themselves. PJ Zach led a study called Oxytocin Increases Generosity in Humans, in which participants were infused with oxytocin or placebo. Afterwards, their levels of generosity and altruism were evaluated. Generosity is the willingness to help others at a slight cost to yourself, while altruism is being self-sacrificial. For example, a generous act might include giving a portion of your salary for a good cause, while an altruistic act might include giving all of your salary for a good cause. To be clear, higher oxytocin levels did not correspond with increased altruism, but was directly correlated with an increase in generosity. Numerous other studies such as these suggest that oxytocin plays an important role in relationships and other human interaction because relationships are largely based on emotion, feelings of love, trust, and generosity. Based on these studies, oxytocin is thought to make us feel good. That is the feeling you get when you hug someone. Or why it's nice to spend time with friends even if you're not doing anything. Or why it feels good to do something nice for someone or when someone does something nice for you. Acts of generosity, doing, receiving, or witnessing all increase levels of oxytocin in our body. That's how inspiration works. Humans are visual animals and when we see people go out of their way to help others, we are more likely to go out of our way to help others as well. Doing, receiving, and witnessing acts of generosity, touch such as hugs or handshakes, and being around people you love such as friends or family. Based on the information we've now acquired, being generous starts a positive cycle of generosity. And since receiving or witnessing generous acts also increases oxytocin levels and therefore generosity, everyone around you becomes more generous too. That's why it's so important to pay attention to the little things, the little sacrifices you make for each other, and the little hormone that is beneath all of these wonderful feelings. So the next time you're unhappy with a relationship, whether it be feeling uncomfortable at a new workplace or frustrated with a long-term relationship, instead of thinking what others could be doing for you, think about what you could be doing for them.